to pry. <laughs> Surprise weigh-in. Yes, I'm back. Shit happened. Every time I, and I have tried to record before, but every time I look at myself in the camera, I'm too embarrassed to put, to, to put this up on YouTube because I'm so fat. And that's just the truth. So, I mean, I am on camera, every, you know, I was, was on camera every week because I have another channel and, um, and we do stuff, but it's only sort of from here up and I've got makeup on and a hat on and, you know, it hides a bit. doesn't hide the, <laughs> doesn't hide these, but it, you know, you can't see, um, look at this bee. It's bee kind. All right. Oh, I've been trying to do this video for so long and I've been trying to get back into keto for so long, but I'm just mortified at myself and the house is a freaking mess. And I, look, I'll show you what the house is like sometime this week. I'm embarrassed of that as well. I can't cope. My fibro has been really bad. I lost my job. I, um, I've just had a, I haven't been coping at all. I have not been coping and that's why I haven't been here. So look, uh, yes, before you ask me this, I had, uh, had a skin check, uh, and I had a couple of things shaved. So they're going to, um, test them for skin cancer because they both looked a bit sus apparently. So <laughs> I'm really happy about that too. It's going to be fun. But anyway, I did weigh myself. I didn't, didn't photograph it, but I'm 130.9. So I actually have put on about six kilos, six or seven kilos. Yeah, I know. Disappointing. But I mean, for binging out for the last six months on anything I wanted to eat, uh, you know, it could be worse. It could be a lot worse. So I'm just going to look at the silver lining in. It could have been worse. Uh, I've been back on keto for three days and I am, don't feel that good. Don't feel very good. <laughs> don't feel very good at all. I had a really bad headache last night. I went too low on the carbs too soon and I started having heart symptoms because I have a heart condition. And when I go really deep into keto, my heart doesn't like it. My, my blood pressure goes up, that sort of thing. So I'm, I'm not going to do too low carb. I'm probably going to be between 20 and 50. Try to keep it between 20 and 50 because that sort of minimizes those symptoms. But I thought I'd come back. And this is a way of keep, keeping myself accountable. Um, I find it really weird talking talk to a camera because I'm used to live streaming. I live stream all the time. And I'm so comfortable live streaming and just chatting to people. Having to suddenly talk to a camera is really weird. So I have to pretend the camera is a live person, which is really, I need to put a little face on there or something <laughs> because this is really, really awkward. I know it'll improve. I'm sure it'll improve once I get used to talking to a camera again. And you know, I might do some live streams as well for this channel. I just don't know what about some surprise live streams about random shit, but I, this, this is still going to be about weight loss, but it's also going to be about as I said before, what I'm doing in the meantime to make to keep productive now that I haven't got a job. So it's going to be trying to be productive every day with some rest days, too, because I do have fibromyalgia and it's quite bad at the moment. Um, yeah, keeping productive, um, getting the house done, that kind of stuff, trying to re-engage with society because I've become a hermit and I rarely leave the house. The pandemic really ruined me. And we'll talk about that Talk about that in another video and there will be more than one video. I'm, I'm truly, truly back. I'm just struggling. I'm struggling mentally and physically. I'm just a wreck. I had dinner with some friends the other night and one of them wrote the most lovely text to me. I mean, it was nice seeing all of them, obviously, but one of them just wrote this, me this text. You know who you are. Just saying how and reminding me how I used to be the fun of life of the office when I was working and I've it's left me. Like, I feel like I have no sense of fun anymore. I mean, I guess I have a bit of a sense of fun, but I feel like my personality left the building uh, when I started on some of these drugs that I'm on for my heart and fibro. So I'm also going to be looking at maybe I can't, a couple of drugs I can't go off, you know, because of, you know, I don't want to die. Um, but a couple I might be able to wean off once I've been on keto a while. We'll see. Um, probably not but maybe changing drugs because I just feel like I went on a particular drug for my fibro and I don't know. I feel like my anxiety hyped me up and made me more fun. <laughs> I haven't got anxiety anymore, rarely. I get, it, I get it occasionally, but I feel like I haven't got it anymore. But I've also, I'm also dead inside. So anyway, I'm going to leave you with that and I'm going to see, see you in the next video. Bye.